Lameness is a problem that all sheep producers will be only too well aware of. Conservative estimates put the cost of foot rot alone in the UK at £24 million. That's £1.50 for every ewe in your flock. There are a number of conditions that cause lameness problems and our film today, supported with our manual, will hopefully provide producers with the tools to aid their diagnosis of the problems in their flock and create strategies to deal with it. Eblex has worked with Professor Laura Green at Warwick University on a number of lameness projects. So we'll leave Laura to take us through the diagnosis of the different conditions and explain the strategies to control lameness in your flock. We've known for many years that farmers are very concerned about lameness in sheep. It's their number one concern in terms of welfare and very important for economics as well. It really impacts on production of sheep on farms and probably second only to intestinal parasites as a concern for disease. And vets as well are very concerned about the levels of lameness that they see in sheep. So we, our work has really been looking at how we can take the best farmers in the country and what they're doing and see whether we can help to tell other farmers how these farmers are managing lameness and keeping lameness levels down. What we have here are some samples that have come from the abattoir. So after these sheep were dead, we've taken these feet and preserved them. And what I'd like to do is use those, these to show you different aspects of the feet. So if we start with this whole foot here, what we can see is that this sheep has a very nice sound foot. And if the horn is sound, if the wall horn is joined tightly to the sole horn, then this is a very healthy foot. For this sheep, we can see that the wall horn is below the level of the sole and so when she walked she would have been bearing weight on the wall horn. This is a section through a little foot. What we see here is the sole horn, this black line at the bottom here and this is two to three millimeters or quarter of an inch thick at most and this horn stays this thin and so you can imagine that if when trimming we trim away and take all of the wall horn away and so the sheep is bearing weight on the sole, she's walking on very, very thin, spongy horn, and, and that in itself will lead to bruising and will make a sheep lame. We can use this foot here, which has been sliced open after the sheep was dead, to look at the internal structure of the foot. Here we can see the sole of the foot and the wall of the foot. And inside the foot is a bone. This little triangular structure here is a bone. And between the two, in the living animal, there is living tissue, which has a, a blood supply and a nerve supply. In this specimen, we've taken the horn away from the bony insides of the foot. Um, just to show you how thin this sole horn is. If I hold it up, you can just see the light going through the bottom of the sole. 